Hi guys and welcome to today's video by Day by Day Vlogs. I am Kirsten from Kingston, Ontario and I will put my Instagram username just up on the screen if you would like to go follow me and enjoy today's video. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I'm loving the intros you guys are sending in. Keep it up please because they literally make my day. I just wanted to show you the snow hill behind me. It's getting so huge, it's been snowing for days. It's so huge, it's as high as the fence. Can you believe that? We are headed to the barn, it is one o'clock in the afternoon. We're super excited, Gabby has plans. Yes, I have plans. I have plans. Sylvia's plans not to ride because she fell the other day and hurt her back and so she does not want to ride, right? Yeah. We are going to try out our new bridle and I want to thank you guys so much for all the help on bits and um, what makes them harsh. I thought harsh meant like they were hard but I guess it totally doesn't. <laughs> you know what harsh is, Mom. Harsh is when you yank on their mouth and like literally break their teeth. Yeah, but a harsh bit is one that folds it up inside their mouth and hits the top of their the roof of their mouth, you know? Uh, nobody ever mentioned that before. That was a big deal. Anyway, we're headed to the barn. We're headed to see our horse. I'm super excited. It's been a day or two days. Two days? It's been two days since we've seen her and I'm really excited. Years at her. Really? It's my food. I never knew how funny horses were because they all come running when we take Sabrina out. Go back and eat. Alright, let's, go. All right, let's go. We got Sabrina and Ben. Oh my gosh, I love that horse. He's so big. He's 17 1. And they're both chestnuts. I never used to love chestnuts because there's so many of them. Now they're one of my favorite. Yes, people are going without you. I'm waiting for dad. Whoa. There's an argument in the paddock. Blue. Are you okay? Did their dog attack their dog or no? What happened? Oh my god, where did it bite you? Whose dog is that? It's mine. I did not know that would happen. I had this weird feeling. It's okay. Come on. Oh my god. You scream so your mom and dad know and come and save you. Oh my god. Let's see. One of the dogs? Yeah. Take off your thing. I'm assuming it wasn't the black one. No. No. Did it just get you down? Oh, well, I was like freaking out. Let me see. Good thing you had on a coat. Yeah, got her on the ground and grabbed her by the arm and just started attacking her. Are you okay? What happened? You just walked over and it ran at you? I'm it sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I feel like crying too. It's okay. Oh my gosh. It is the scariest thing. Big breath. It's okay. So we don't go near that dog again. Even though it was not your fault, so don't worry. And you're okay, right? 
Did it rip your coat? Yeah. Oh, just sit down, take a deep breath. Literally, I Sophie went to play with one of the kids. The kid had her dog that we've never seen before on top of the hill, and it was staring at Sophie. Yeah, and I was walking, and I was thinking, I hope that dog doesn't attack Sophie. I just like felt it so strong and then I kept walking and then all of a sudden I could hear screaming like crazy screaming and then I heard Sam saying Sophie and then oh yeah like it's scary it's scary and then I went running Listen, don't, you don't scream you just cover your face no you scream because nobody would have went to help her the dog attacks more when you scream Okay, so then she's by herself, an eight-year-old girl. She wasn't by herself, I would be going there. But you, if you weren't there, she needs to scream to tell us. Yeah. Was it just scary, but it didn't hurt you? Soph? Pardon? Was it just scary, or did you, were you hurt? I can't explain it. You're scared. You're scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. My heart is racing. It's always scary. Isn't it? See? Just remember when dad got attacked by a big horse. <laughs> ago, yeah. Story, trust me. <laughs> I ran. But that dog actually clamped down on her arm. It doesn't fit. It's like too tight here and too tight here. And we can maybe punch a hole and make a little bit longer on each side. So no matter what, like can we fix it or no? Mom, we just that yellow to... plugs don't come out. Yeah, we put the bombs in, they, they don't even come out. She was shaking her head. They come out. Oh, good. So that's awesome. So if we get a pole punch, like, either way, we don't think we take it to the back, are we? Take it to the back? I don't know. We'll take it back if we can't fix it. If we can fix it, then... Well, the only way to fix it is to punch holes in it, and then you yeah, can't take it back. Yeah, but is it for sure going to fix it? Yeah, the only thing that was blue. It'll work for our next horse, maybe. All right, well, let's so see if Fiona can fix it. not this size. All right, girls are up, getting warmed up. You feel good now? Yeah. Gabby is the pickiest girl I've ever met in my life. So we put the palms in and it was like there was nothing in her ear. She could totally hear everything. So we had to switch back to our beauty blenders. They work so much better. Who knew, right? About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't wow. know. They're taking turns. This is like so fun. adjusted the halter so hopefully it fits otherwise we just wasted some money but that's okay it might fit our other horse um he got the leather hole punch and he poked holes in it so hopefully it will fit her now all right sabrina this is new let us know if you like it still too small maybe not this Looks too close to her eye. This side is not good. I'll fix it. Oh, wow. 
too close to her eyes. I still just feel sick about the thing that happened to Sophie. Like, so sick about it. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Look up. That was nice. That was good. She didn't get her lead, but one last time. This is the girl that Jasmine threw off over her neck and wouldn't jump for six months. And now she's addicted. Go with her! Go with her! It's here to get to the job. Look up! Go with her! Good job! You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Ooh, I never touch my choo choo dog attack but I learned something about me the horse kicked her I could see physically that she was okay and I was really nervous and I was scared and I started laughing because of my nerves but when this happened and I couldn't get to Sophie and I couldn't tell what happened other than that the dog knocked her to the ground and grabbed her by the arm and was trying to eat her um, and I couldn't get there fast enough. There was so much snow and I couldn't get there. And I felt oh, like, other dog, Dexter. And, and, and the other dog was standing over top of Sophie and there was so much screaming. And Sam, I felt like wasn't protecting her. He, he couldn't get to her fast enough, he but he wasn't freaking out. Like I was screaming and they were screaming and he was screaming at Sophie, like Sophia, Sophia. And it was so stressful, but you know what happened? I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh out of nerves at all. I was so petrified. I went past nerves straight to tears. So this is Sabrina's bit right now that she has. Yeah. So based oh, yeah. on what you guys are talking about, it's double, it's got two joints, right? So it's not a super harsh bit. Yeah, but this does not move. But yeah, that does not move. Well, it kind of moves like this. Oh yeah. I don't know. Is that a good bit? I think she has a special bit because she likes to stick her tongue out. <laughs> These guys are looking for supper. They're like, all right, I'll go in. I'll go in. They're like, what are you talking about? You guys look pretty together with your white noses. Okay, this is scary. Oh dear. Got a horse in front of us. I got lady beside me. Got a horse in the back of us. And I got a kid in the snow pile. Such a nice day out. Right, Lola and Finnegan, it's your turn. 
Come on down. There's a again. So I'm getting Lola. So pretty. That's her halter. Winter is gorgeous. It is so pretty. If you don't die from the ice and the freezing cold and the dog attacks, it's a good time. I don't know. I kind of like Finnegan now. What do you, look, he's got a heart on his head, Gabby. I told you that when it was spring. That's a sign. Do you guys think that's a sign? Like Finnegan could be our horse. He can't do anything, right? But you, we could teach you with with Fiona's help. He runs you over. Yeah, we can't have a horse that runs us over. No, you. He's like me. Help. I don't do that. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is wrong with your mouth? Let me paint a picture for you how hard it is to take care of horses in the winter in Canada. Usually you're battling freezing cold. You're also battling snow pants, winter coat, scarves, earmuffs, all this stuff that makes you big and bulky and not able to move well. Plus, everywhere you go is this high under snow. So you're walking through, it's like your snow shoeing while you're working. It's like working underwater, you guys. It's so much work. Jasmine's like, I'll just eat this leftover stuff in the wheelbarrow. Hope you don't mind. It's a lot closer than the ground. It's pure slippery out here. Can you guys tell? It's all ice. It's freezing rain right now. God, careful on me. Pure ice. Pure ice. Yeah. Holy moly. Um, this is why our horse costs us so much money. Every single time we go to the barn and we put the horses away, we work out so much, we walk through the snow and it's so hard on us. We get home, or we start to come home, we're so hungry, we stop at Walmart every single no. time. Every time we go to the barn, we end up coming home with all this food. <laughs> you should never shop on a hungry belly. That's what happens to us.